Hey everyone, Light487 here again. I've got some uh, new juicehaw.com flavors to review. Uh, before I go on, I'd just like to say that these particular flavors were received free of charge for the purposes of review for juicehaw.com, uh, juice uh, but I will obviously remain uh, objective and uh, give you, you know, the, the truth behind the actual flavors. Okay, so the first one I'm doing uh, is the uh, Dell's Apple Pie. Um, I've already mixed it up uh, with 50-50 with the same um, nicotine egg juice that I normally use. The actual smell smells a lot like a McDonald's apple pie rather than a traditional apple pie. Um, so it's more of a crusty, a pie crust type smell um, with a bit of spice there, maybe a cinnamon sort of spice um, there. Now um, I've already baked through about two mils of this uh, today, or maybe one and a half mils of this today. Um, so that says a lot about how much I've enjoyed this flavour already. Um, I'm using my um, wet box with a 510 cardamizer, so it's actually really good because the um, the uh, vapor is quite warm um, when it comes out uh, the cardamizer. So a warm apple pie flavour, it's really nice. Anyway, so I'll uh, just bake a little bit. Yeah, so what I've been finding is that the uh, the flavour on the inhale you get um, you know a good balance of, of the apple flavour and the pie crust flavour, so maybe a 50-50 sort of balance. On the exhale, however, um, the apple sort of flavour is diminished, so you end up with maybe a 30 apple, 70%. Uh, pie crust sort of flavour, um, so it could be easily mistaken to be overly pie crust uh, in the flavour, um, but it's, it's certainly an enjoyable vape, and you can certainly you know taste the apple in there. The apple is uh, rather than being a pure apple flavour, the apple is more like an apple sort of I guess not cider, but um, that sort of spicy sort of apple with the you know that you would expect from a, you know an apple pie or an apple crumble um, rather than just being you know like a fresh apple um, sort of flavour. But anyway, um, that's that's a good flavour. As I say, I've uh, baked a lot of it already. Uh, really enjoying it a lot, um, and uh, I would definitely be buying. Well, I will be um, buying myself uh, at least a 10 ml bottle of this flavour. Anyway, I'll be back um, in just a moment in your time uh, for another review uh, of the next flavour, most likely the uh, French vanilla ice cream. Um, but in real time, it probably won't be for a couple of days while I take you know some time to get used to the that next flavour. Anyway, um, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I was actually going to do the uh, vanilla ice cream flavour, but that actually is a, a flavour that's still in development, and I've received word uh, from the juicewar.com person uh, that they've actually improved the flavour, so I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually going to do the cola. This is the cola flavour. Now, the cola, it, it smells um, exactly like... Uh, cola, um, I, it's uh, not necessarily a Coca-Cola cola, uh, more like a syrup sort of cola. So like you know, like the stuff you get at say McDonald's, which is say uh, Coca-Cola, uh, but it's the syrup sort of cola rather than the um, straight out of the can uh, or bottle sort of cola. Um, that, that's what it smells like. As you can see, it's clear, but it's got like a tinge, just a tinge of um, of yellow there to it. So it's not 100% clear. Um, it vapes really nicely. Um, so uh, that's like, a, as I say, 50-50 mix. Uh, this is through a 510 atomizer, obviously. Um, yeah, like I've been vaping it now for a couple of days, 
and it's um, still just as strong flavoured as it was the first time I had it. So a lot of the cola flavours I've had in the past, they either start off uh, really weak and stay really weak, or um, they start off really nice and strong, but over the course of a day or so, um, your taste buds get used to the flavour uh, or something, and the flavour sort of weakens and goes away. Uh, that's not the case uh, with the juicehaw.com cola. Um, it's strong from the very start uh, to the very end. It just keeps going and going and going. Um, I keep uh, thinking, oh, I should change to a different flavour. Um, but I, I, for some reason, I, I'm sort of stuck on this flavour uh, for a while because it's just really nice. Um, it is sweet, obviously cola is sweet. Um, one thing uh, it does do is give you a, a really good throw hit. That's another good thing about it. Um, it's sort of a you know almost peppery sort of throw hit after a while. Um, it's, when it starts off, it's quite a smooth vape, um, but you know uh, over you know like a few hours of vaping this, it, um, it gets sort of a, a little bit peppery, um, but still very nice sweet. Uh, clean tasting um, cola flavor. Anyway, uh, I'll be back in just a moment and I'll do the third and final uh, review uh, for this three parter. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, time to do the, uh, the last review uh, of this three part uh, review. Uh, this one I'm going to do is uh, the lemon meringue. Um, there it is there mixed up. Um, it's actually quite a, a light yellow colour when you've got it uh, you know, with no nicotine in it. As soon as you put nicotine in it however it turns like a, a really sort of deep golden uh, almost orange colour. Now the smell when it's mixed is obviously a little bit more diminished and the pure flavour, but um, it's sort of, I mean you can smell a little bit of the lemon when you smell it, but you, you really need to sort of um, look for that, that lemon smell, it's not sort of really obvious. The most obvious smell uh, is the uh, actual um, pie crust sort of smell. Um, when you vape it, um, Yeah, when, when you vape it, um, the, when you first start vaping it, it, all you can really taste is the pie crust because that is a really strong part of this flavour. Um, the as, as you sort of start to vape it a little bit more, so maybe, you know, like 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes into it or depending on your taste buds obviously, um, you start to get uh, a really nice uh, aftertaste, I guess, of the lemon, um, and it's sort of like the not not a fresh sort of lemon juice lemon. Uh, it's this kind of lemon that you get from a lemon meringue pie, or um, sometimes you have like a lemon slice, which is made with uh, condensed milk and lemons. Um, so that's the kind of taste that you're getting, which is exactly what uh, lemon meringue. You know, lemon tastes like. So now that I've been vaping it for a while, uh, on the inhale, I'm getting uh, a very nice uh, lemon taste, um, and on the exhale, as I say, it's more of an aftertaste where the lemon sort of happens. Um, yes, I'm getting a lot of. The, uh, the pie crusty sort of uh, flavour, um, but there's certainly uh, a definite, um, you know, major portion of, of the taste is that lemon, and so I really enjoy it a lot. It's, uh, now become one of my favourites. So I've got you know, my lime splice, which is a favourite, and uh, this is now also uh, a favourite. Actually, I like it more than the um, the apple pie. 
Anyway, uh, that's uh, this one. Uh, I I strongly strongly urge you to uh, give this one a try because it's um it's exceptionally nice um, and, and as I say, a complex flavour that takes time to um, build up. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, head over to uh, juicehaw.com uh, to check out the whole range uh, of juices that they have there. Thanks.